Thank you very much for inviting me. Probably a strange picture here. Um, Digitalization changes everything. That's what we learned. Apple didn't invent the iPod. It changed the whole music industry. Tesla is challenging automotive industry. Amazon is changing the whole commercial shopping. So is there any construction, uh, any industry you believe which will not be affected? I think Every industry will be affected. But there's one thing with digitalization, and it's our ego. It's one problem. If we want to keep up with the machines, and that's going to be a hard fight. Sorry. The problem is, whatever we know, we believe is just us. It's me. It's the ego. Machines, bots share everything. They don't care. So the problem we have, and I will come back to that later on, is one of our challenges. But the topic is the era of connected buildings. So what I try to do is to show that construction industry is on the edge of the biggest revolution ever. And there are three core theses on that. One driver is sustainability and the whole processes. One is the digitalization and whole new value change disrupting this industry, and I guess globally. So this is bad, so I won't <laughs> tell it. But that's what I thought when I was looking at the construction industry, and I'm coming out of construction. We have a hundred year heritage in construction, our family, the company. But what we do is like consuming 40% of worldwide resources, 40% of energy, producing 30% of the waste in the world. There's no industry which impacts sustainability more. So I thought to myself when I took over the company, so I want to make a change. So to make a change globally is hard if you're local. So the problem is, and a lot of high-tech guys here in the room, and it's a little bit embarrassing for me because I'm from the very old economy. And that's the proof. This is very old economy. And the name industry for construction is probably not the right word because that's what we do since a thousand years. I mean, we use new products, new stuff, but we do it the same way. That's a problem. Just prototypes and processes. This is the traditional way to build. That's how we should build and how we should organize and share. So I came up with a solution when I said, OK, I will build timber hybrid skyscrapers, 30 stories high, 100 meters, prefabricated to a millimeter accuracy. It's the smartest carbon storage technology in the world. One cubic meter of wood stores one ton of CO2, sucking out of the atmosphere. And I always tell the story when I, someone asked me in the plane, what is your business? And I said, I'm in carbon storage technology. <laughs> and they say, wow, this is rocket science. What are you doing? What is, oh, it's a simple process. Uh, it's a chemical process we use. So it's a method where you use CO2, sunlight, and you exchange it producing oxygen and building material. And they say, wow, yeah, that's what trees does. <laughs> but the point is, what can we do with that material? And what we did is we engineered lumber. We made it possible with a, pre with a building system to build up that height. Anywhere in the world, anyone can do it, putting the know-how on a platform. And that's one big thing, a platform and having prefabricated elements. So what you, his, what you see here is when we start working and the, the architect did all the creative design on a lot or in an area, and this is the building, he says, OK, that's the size we need. That's where we start on our platform. 
and get every part of this building is clear when you start. It's ready for production. We have 3.5 million objects in our library. So this is a digital twin which exists before the real building. And now here you see what happens, you know. It's just you choose from the 3.5 million, you choose an element. This is, for instance, now one of our slabs, our timber hybrid slabs. You choose it and you put it in your construction. Uh, then you download it directly in your format you have, whatever planning format you have, you put it in, and that's what you can do with any part, especially, and that's why we joined Bosch and Sumtobel, every part which is IoT. In this concept, they're just parts being capable to be IoT. Because, and this is what we did in eight days, we built this timber, building with five people. There are m much more people on the screen. That's visitors, OK? <laughs> because nobody believed. We told publicly we will do it in eight days, and it will be tight. It will have the windows in it. And nobody believed. And I said, oh, hey, everybody come. I invite you. It was a little bit of a safety issue. There were people from China, from Japan, from Canada, because they didn't believe. Like when I first said, I will build 100-meter buildings with wood. And everybody said, that's not possible. But the good thing is, I didn't know that it's not possible. <laughs> because when you know something is not possible, you don't try it. And this is a very, very big thing if you want to do innovation. That's where we did the use cases with Bosch and Sumtobel, where we improve what we do. This is very easy, plug and play. These are the timber. Uh, uh, concrete hybrid elements. This is the worst picture of the site. So it's ready. Whatever is not yet installed, like in the facade element, where prefabrication has windows, sun shields, whatever already pre-mounted and already IoT, whatever comes in now is quite fast. But one big thing, and now I I have to remind to the strange picture of me at the beginning. It's the collaborative thing. We already erected four buildings. Now we're giving licenses to many countries in the world. So everyone can get on this system, on our server, use all the parts, make exactly that technology, different architecture. That doesn't mean the buildings look the same. But why should you invent? every single part of the construction, every time, new. No sense. So, if an architect in Japan is planning on our system and he has a new facade type he likes, from that second on, it's part of the library and the Canadian architect can use it. This is the fastest innovation machine in construction. You even can invite your colleagues. I'm doing design the next four hours here, you can comment, you can assist, you can make a virtual architectural firm with a one-man show. You can get a contract for five people, you just say, who in the network is interested to work with me? And this is the same with the parts. And this is where we're heading to. So now, I should say something about the Internet of Things. Uh, I have one thing here. This is a switch we have in our office. This switch has no cables and no battery. You put it wherever you want. I leave it here. Why is that? Because when I press here, it's much more force and energy you need to transmit the signal, IOT. Whatever you have in the building with any function has to be IOT. So what we do is with our digital twin, we just connect it. When we finish the building, it's ready to run. You get all the data. Whatever you want to do, you can do. And who's the platform? That's always the question. Everybody wants to be the platform. I don't want to be the product. <laughs> I learned a lot the last two days. You know, if you're not the platform, you're going to die.
<laughs> but there are so many softwares for home automation, whatever. It's not our decision to choose what's in there. It's in the pull-down menu. When you are in our planning tool and you choose any part, you get a pull-down menu, you see companies. OK, I choose this one or that. And you just drag and drop it in your plan. But there's total different businesses behind that. It's not construction anymore. So probably someone is looking for his next killer device. And you get an I built. <laughs> if you want an office, I say, I want an office like this. It's that kind of technology, whatever is decided, it's that one. Or Tesla is going farther than just being the battery of the building. Or Amazon. What we have in our system, we know exactly which product is chosen, which product went into the building. Every part of, the, of this building is clear. So why don't we be Amazon and we just order all the parts? We assist you by assembling five people, remember. Or Google realizes, oh, we, got a, we bought Nest for a lot of money, but Nest is just one product in the shelf. This is probably much bigger than Nest. So, Cree, that's the name of our, our startup. I started just for doing this, you know. So, I'm coming to the end, because everybody said to me the last years, oh, we're too early, we're too early, we're not uh, ready uh, for making wooden buildings worldwide. But I say the time is right, exactly right now. What we do is we will build next year, start building, move in the first 100% totally IoT prefabricated building in the world. That's going to happen in Austria. We will do it, we invite it, and we are happy to have Bosch and Sumtobel on board. Thank you very much. <clears throat>